GSW Beneath the City. We begin with the Long Beach crew. They have an open challenge. Cali Slick says he knows that he clears any wannabe gangster in this promotion. And it's only a matter of time till he's double champ with his boy Ace. And he's going to take out Boneyard, MBB, Froshaw, Buster, any of them. Anyone who want to step to him. But before that, he needs a paycheck. He's got bitches at home. He's got, he doesn't have much time. So anyone that thinks they can fuck with us, come out. Let's fight. And we see Dead Man Walking and Texas Hangman come out. They don't like Dead Man Walking, so he's a failed signing. But Texas did good. Kelly Slick came out much looking great. They, him and Ace has hired a great tag team, and Texas is doing pretty well. And a good 49, we take that. Then we have E. Stark making his full defense of the West Coast title against Utah. Utah had a 24, which we take. And Cheyenne debuted her gimmick. Cheyenne distracted E. Stark, and Utah actually hit the Asona face crusher. And just as it looked like he was about to get it, E. Stark grabbed a shard of a table that was used earlier and stabbed Asono in the face. Not blinding him, but like almost. He got him in the eye, so he, like, he couldn't really see. Bang, punch to the balls, double arm DDT. So Historic used the hardcore environment to his advantage to beat the Japanese star, Yuda Asono. We take that. Then the State of Destruction are out. And obviously, you know, BB is taking on Raheem. He's beat up Kani and Raheem, killed them both. And he beat off Death, and then. Uh, Boneyard singing Death Touch. And he says, and they're both like, these two runts think they can step up to us with a state of fucking destruction. The two best workers in this company. The two biggest, hardest hitting fuckers you'll ever see. So bring them up. Tag match, right fucking now. And Boneyard beats Raheem slash River Chokes. Let me get 42. Death Touch is actually really good. Two crazy matches in a row don't really work. They need staggering. It's GSW, fam. How do you not, like, oh, whatever. 42, though. And again, apparently you need more staggering. But this is just... This is a decent match. Just on the hard card. Hard one beats Tab on Blake Jr. Keep that hard one push going. And then, we have an angle. Froshaw says, look, Buster, you beat me last week. Fair, fair, bitch. But let's run it back. And Buster's like, no, 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 no. I kicked your ass. Prove that without Groomy Boy by your side, you ain't shit. You're just a fucking... And then, before Buster Cap can go on, Brother Grimm's music hits. And Grimm doesn't really make appearances much in GSW. So it's really strange to see him. And the crowd goes crazy, and Grimm's like, Buster, shut your f mouth. Look here, right? For sure, he ain't no gay bitch on my dick. Right? I got plenty of hoes for that. Stop talking shit, and back it. Two of you, I want to settle this tonight. Have an I quit match. Right? No fucking rules. If I heal either, you say quit, it's done. Cut, okay, bet, bet. We see Papa Swole beat Mexican, and they have good Ken, that was all 28. But then after the match, the rest of Los Gorillas jump it. They beat the shit out of the baseball bats, like, Papa Swole has to get an ambulance home. And no one helped him. Hard One had his match earlier, didn't come out. Public Enemy, number one, had his shit, didn't come out. So Papa Swole, he's trying to fight off three Mexican gangsters, while also thinking, where the fuck are these guys? Especially with my boys. So yeah, this little alliance of theirs is a bit shaky. And Remy Sky continues his run, beating Max Mayhem with Skydiver. But afterwards, the machine gun sound, like, that's the intro music. Pop, 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 pop. And Gravedigger and Mobstar come out. And they challenge Remy Sky. They call him some drug, some white boy drug addict. Some wannabe that never made it. And now he's here, trying to collect a paycheck. It's not how this works. 
So next week, our uh, next show, sorry, Grave Digger is gonna go one on one with Remy Sky, and he's gonna fuck him up. Send the white boy back to the trailer park, and then in our main event, Buster Cap and Fresh are going at it. You know, Buster Cap hits the oh fuck, what's his finisher? It's not the gangster kick. Where is finisher? I can't remember off the top of my head. He hits it, and then literally goes into the crowd. Grabs someone's, some fat guy's sweaty shirt, shoving it down like Mick Foley's Stocko style down for sure. For sure, kicks him in the dick and then elbows him in the face. Hits the clothesline, then grabs a pair of pliers, starts pulling on like his nose, his ears, and stuff. And Grim stops the match. Grim gives For sure the win. Even though Buster Cap never said quit, he was getting fucked up, but he never said it. So Grimm stopped it early. Maybe Buster Cap was right. Maybe for sure he is doing something sly on the sl on the side with Brother Grimm. Good to know that I need to have an angle match, angle match, angle match. Because apparently the hardcore promotion doesn't like to have two matches in a row. Okay. But yeah, I think that was a really successful show. Buster Cap and Fro Shaw. I don't know what's happening after that. Brother Grimm quite literally screwed Buster Cap out of a victory. He literally screwed him out of a win. Raheem and Death Touch are both getting clapped. Papa Spall is getting jumped with no backup. And Kylie Slick's throwing shots. I've got to do this as well. Yeah, sorry, Emma. So, yeah, that is what's happened. We have GSW, a matter of respect. Next up.